Good morning. It's 3 a.m. I couldn't sleep. I wanted to come in and show you guys my 1960s rocket launch console. Pew, 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 pew. Not really, guys. It's just an ESU, but it's an ESU with a couple secrets. With the addition of a special handpiece and a tank of argon, this guy here turns into a fire breathing, blood coagulating beast. So let's check it out. Coming up next right here on Better Biomed. Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I'm going to show you a very special ESU, one that I don't get to play with too much because they're always very important and they're in very specific rooms that I normally can't get into. Today we're going to take a look at the Argon Plasma or Argon Beam Coagulator ESU. So let's take a look and see what is this thing that looks like it's straight out of 1960s. Here we go. This guy comes in at a hefty 300 or so pounds. It's on its own cart. It has a tank of argon on the rear. You can see it's got a little pressure gauge. It shows you how much pressure is in the bottle. And on the front, wait a minute. This thing looks like a regular ESU. I, I got monopolar, monopolar, bipolar, and what is this funky port right here? Look at this guy. You ever seen such a thing before? So that is a special handpiece. Connects to one of your monopolars, connects to the argon, and then all the fire comes out of these buttons right here. For the most part, it looks like a regular ESU though. You got coag, you got cut, you got some bipolar action going on up here. So what is so special about this? Well, this little handpiece right here. Oh yeah. This is the torch. Now there's a variety of different hand pieces. Some of them look like a regular ESU pencil, but this guy here is a torch only. See a little insulator at the end? So what these guys do is they shoot out argon and it surrounds an electrode, which when combined with RF energy, it shoots out a little torch and that torch is actually plasma, or they say it's plasma, I'm not really sure. But it's a, a blue flame, and what the surgeons will do is when they have a bleeder, they will shove this in there and they'll, and they'll coagulate all the tissue and all the blood, and it coagulates instantly. This thing is beautiful. And that's why you're gonna find them in ER, small procedure rooms, you're gonna find them in operating rooms, cardiovascular rooms, trauma. This unit here has been a staple of operating rooms going back 20 plus years, which is why it looks like it's 20 years old. And actually, I believe this guy here is probably at least 10 years old. Now this is a System 7550. The other ones that you'll see is a System 7500. This is the updated version which means that the REM circuit right here isn't quite as sensitive as the old version. But as I just found out, this unit is also no longer supported. This guy ended its life back in December of 2019. And here we are. It's still in service because it's such a workhorse. What a lovely layout. You got these giant buttons. Look at this. Man, I'll tell you what, people in operating rooms love this guy because it's so easy to read and so easy to attach garbage to the front of it. The only real downside to this thing is it takes up a wee bit of operating room real estate. Look at this cart. It's kind of crazy. But this unit does some fantastic stuff. So let's go ahead. You can see right here, look at this. These guys at ConMed thought about everything. It shows you the different variety of inputs and outputs right here, right on the top for these ports in the front. So let's go ahead and let's connect this guy up. I'm gonna connect it to, let's say 
the stand because you need to have a completed circuit just like a regular monopolar between the torch or your pencil and something that's grounded to your patient return. Uh, so let's see, I got it at 150, 40. Woo, it sounds like it's ready to go. Let's see if I can get it to fire. Woo, look at that. And you will see that it goes into an error because it's constantly monitoring the current, the patient return resistance, etc. That's so nice. You gotta watch it on the eyes because this is very bright, this argon beam. See, the camera can't quite pick it up, but it, what it is is shooting out a stream of fire. And as you go longer and longer with this guy, there's nothing cooling the tip because it's out here in the air. So this guy here might eventually melt. Although plasma is known for being a cold source of fire, which is why they like to use it. You can see how it's very lightly pitting the surface of the stainless steel. And that is argon plasma. It's such a cool thing. Now what we do is when we're testing this unit, we always keep an extra hand piece. So this is my test hand piece, and this is obviously my test jig as well. But when you test it, you're gonna go through the argon beam, you're gonna go through monopolar and bipolar, just like a regular ESU, except you're also gonna test the argon system. And we're gonna take a look at the newer argon unit so you can see what you're probably going to experience from now on out in your operating rooms. This guy, it's fading away. Let's go check out the new guy. Guys, this is the latest and greatest. This is the ConMed Helix AR ABC brand new off the truck. I think this guy fell off a truck about two months ago. That's why it's still beautiful. I told the OR staff that we could rough it up a little bit if they wanted to fit in with the rest of the crowd. They said, no, they appreciate it just the way it is. This guy has got a lot of bells and whistles. If you want to enable something like Argon, you have to press a button and confirm it. You want to do things like single foil pad electrode, you have to press a button and confirm it. Some stuff that you didn't have to do before, but at least it gives you on-screen prompts telling you what's going on with the unit. So let's take another look and see what's going on with this brand new beast. So this is the ConMed Helix ABC Argon Plasma Unit and the beautiful cart that it's on. Now right now it might look like it's a little bit of a mess, but that's because of staff. See, it's got onboard storage for foot controls and separate windings. Look at this. Yeah, onboard foot control storage. How beautiful is that? Let's take a look at the rear. We've got tank monitoring that's built in. Look at this. And we can swap between tank one and tank two. They just slide in. That is so fantastic. It's got additional storage for extra hand pieces and electrodes. This guy right here is the bee's knees. Look at those bright, beautiful, large displays. Membrane buttons, very responsive. Nice and easy. I like that it's got all the different modes actually written out. Take a look. It actually tells you the on-screen bottle status. Oh, I love it, man. I absolutely love it. Got four liters of argon. You can see it says that is the port that I gotta connect to with the AR. I don't know why somebody wrote that it can be in either port. The company specifically says that port. Anyway, got this guy connected. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the fireball looks like coming out of the handpiece on this guy. I just have it over here hooked up to a rack because who cares? Ooh, this one's sensitive on the errors. Look at that long trail it throws off. Fantastic. 
So that is the Helix ABC Argon unit. What a beautiful, beautiful unit. Very thought out. I love this cart. One of my favorite design pieces of medical equipment yet. Here we have the aforementioned System 7500. Remember guys, I said this is the older model, but technically it's exactly like the other one, the 7550. The only real difference that I can tell is that the REM monitor's got some different values and it's less sensitive on the 7550 because anytime this guy runs into a little bit of an ohms difference on the patient electrode, it errors out and you have to continually come back and press monitor set, which annoys staff unbelievably. The mentality of this guy is that it is completely serviceable at the local level. The manual, the repair manual was beautiful. To open this guy up, there's a little screw right here, one over on the other side, and it lifts up. And look at this, there's a little piece there. We get this guy here, put it in the hole. That's a safety thing. Make sure you put that back in the hole, like it says in the diagram. Look at the layout of these boards, guys. Look at this guy. You can see the control board up there. You got your power supplies over here. You got HV power supply. Oh my gosh, your generators. This right here is uh, your interface board, but it also does current and does monitoring, like your REM monitoring. Look at the massive heat sinks in here. Giant transformer from back in the early 80s, 90s. This right here has been around for a long time, but I'll tell you what, you can still service these. You can still buy these components, individual components, and you can repair them if you really want to. But one of the things I've noticed is that these guys eventually will start generating more and more little errors here and there. So we've been phasing them out. Kind of a sad bygone of a wonderful era. Some of the last truly serviceable devices. These are the Argon Plasmas. Unfortunate as it is, but guys, I know that's just a brief overview of the Argon Plasma units and I can't help it. There's a lot of detail I could go into on these. Not really necessary. All you gotta know is you need a special hand piece to utilize them and to test them out. They do have a lot of different alarms and stuff. Just get used to them. Go hook one up. Use a, a probe like I do and just go play around with it. And that's how you're gonna get used to utilizing this in the field. And I have been called into operating rooms where I've had to sit there and troubleshoot this for the doctors while they're sitting there with a patient bleeding out. So I highly suggest if you guys are ever gonna be around the operating rooms, pull one of these guys out of service, hook it up and train your people on it because the day will come when you will have an angry physician, they've got a patient that's bleeding out and you need to know your argon plasma beam coagulator. Man, that's a long name. Argon coagulator, argon beam coagulator, argon plasma unit. There's a whole bunch of names for these guys, but you're gonna find them in operating rooms, cardiovascular operating rooms, like the one I'm currently in. You're gonna see it in emergency rooms and trauma rooms. So that's all I got for you guys. That's the argon beam coagulator plasma, yada, yada, yada. I hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching.